this video, we are going to see a problem on calculation of diameter of a wire which is subjected to some kind of loading. And for that, here I have a question. A copper wire of length 500 mm is subjected to an axial pull of 5.5 kN. Find the minimum diameter if the stress is not to exceed 70 Newton per mm square. Also calculate elongation of the wire. Take capital E is equal to 100 kN per mm square. Now this is the question we have. Whatever is given here, I will write that in the form of data first. Let us get started. It is given that there is a copper wire having length 500 mm. So L is equal to 500 mm is subjected to an axial pull. The value of load is given 5.5 kN. So here we have this as 5.5 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. Find the minimum diameter. Here I'll denote the diameter as small d which we have to calculate. If the stress is not to exceed 70 Newton per mm square. Sigma is equal to 70 Newton per mm square. Also calculate elongation. This is the second question. We have to find out the elongation in the wire. Take capital E that is Young's modulus as 100 kN per mm square which we can convert this and this will be 100 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. As it is given in the question that it is a copper wire so wire will be circular in cross section. This is the unknown diameter of the wire and here this circular wire is a solid section. So we have to know this unknown diameter and when this wire is subjected to axial pull. If I see the cross section after this along the length this wire is kept and then this wire is being pulled by applying tensile stress or I can say a pull type of load. So here this rod is being pulled or a copper wire. I'll write it that here this is a copper wire and we have to find how much is the diameter for this copper wire. So for this I'll use the relation of stress and load because stress is given. So stress is load upon area. So here I'll say that since in the solution part stress is given by sigma is equal to load upon area. So therefore stress is equal to P upon area is pi by 4 into D square because it is the cross sectional area. Next here this would be I'll shift D square on the other side because diameter is what we have to calculate. So here D square will be shifted onto the other side and next I have P upon pi by 4 into sigma then D square will be equal to P is given as 5.5 into 10 raised to 3. Sigma is given in the question as 70. So I'll get D square answer as 100. And if I take the square root, I'll get the answer of D as 10 mm. So here is the first answer. We have calculated how much should be the diameter of the copper wire. Now after getting this diameter, the next question is to calculate elongation. And for elongation, 
I can use the formula that since elongation is given by delta L is equal to PL upon AE so therefore deflection will be equal to P it is 5.5 .5 into 10 raised to 3 length is 500 area diameter we have got it as 10 so area is pi by 4 into 10 square Young's modulus is given as 100 into 10 raised to 3 so from this I'll get my answer of deflection as 0 0.35 mm and since the rod is being pulled this deflection is nothing but it is elongation that is it causes increase in length and decrease in diameter so here in this video we have seen how to calculate the unknown diameter of the copper wire subjected to pull type of loading that diameter was 10 mm our answer number one next this question was also telling us to calculate the elongation of the wire delta L and the answer of delta L is 0.35 mm. So with this we complete the question.